Bienvenidos a España, disfrutar las vacaciones. Welcome to Spain. Vlogger Zupa is in Spain. Yes, another country, another adventure with me. We've got Rafa, which makes it even more interesting. Witajcie w Hiszpanii. Vlogger Zupa, the best. Welcome to Spain. Freedom. Welcome to Santander. Today Vlogger Zupa is going to take you to Santander, which is a city in northern Spain. You probably know about a bank Santander. Yeah, the Santander Bank comes from Santander. Let's go and have a look what Santander has to offer. Yes, folks, this episode will be dedicated to the city of Santander. First of all, let's go to the local tourist information to find out more. Right. And how you see the public transport? How do you get tickets for the public transport? In a, on the a, bus you itself. Pay by card, yes? yes. All right. One euro thirty. One euro thirty. Because we stay in the the camping Virgo del Mer or Virgo del Mer. Si, yeah. Is any public transport go? Public transport yeah, go. Number one. Bus number seventeen. Number seventeen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we need to pay the bus, yeah. Yeah, I don't need it. Okay, right. Cool. Now I let Iggy and Melania. To Tell us some interesting facts about Santander. Number one, the city. The history of Santander goes back to the year 26 BC, when Emperor Augustus wished to leave a record of his victory over the Cantabrians, founding a city called Portus Victoriae, Port of Victory. Throughout the centuries, Santander has been named the Liverpool of Spain as its port became a crossroad of imported by its colonies and traded with its new world in 1983. Santander was officially appointed the capital of Cantabria, which took the form of an autonomous region that same year. Two, the economy. Beyond the trading activities related to its port, Santander notably houses the headquarters of Santander Group a Spanish multination commercial bank and financial services company. Santander Group is present in all global financial centers as the 16th largest banking institution in the world. Although it is for its European banking operations, the group has recently expanded its activities across the North and South America and continental Asia. Three, the future. Santander decided to be a pilot for a smart city, a European Union founded project. Developed in 2010 and 2014, the main project aim is to develop scientific research on the future of the internet and machine-to-machine -machine and mobile. Today, there are over 20,000 devices installed, placing the city at the forefront of innovation in the field of smart urban management. As a result, Santander is one of the largest living laboratories in the world. For the culture, Santander has a great tradition in cultural activities. All events that play an important role in the social life of the city. Just to mention some examples, the Festival International de, de Santander, the Festival International de Musica de Organo, Encuentro de Musica y Academia, and the Palamo Oshia. International piano competitions are all interesting opportunities to get to know the side of the city. Five historical sites. Two of Santander's historical sites not to be missed. The Cathedral of Santander was originally built in the 13th century. Although the upper part of the cathedral dates to the 14th century and all the cloisters were built in the 15th century, inside you can find the tomb of the writer, literary, critic and historian Mendes Pelayo. The beaches. Santander is a great beach destination with many sandy stretches laying within and around the city centre. Santander Q we seen is characteristic of Cantabria and mainly based on the seafood. Some of the typical dishes from the city are fried calamari. El Santander Beach 
written, and the first sound in Rome Beach is at the heart of the city of Santander and a popular beach in Cantabria. It's easy to access, very popular and accessible to people of limited me- limited mobility. Santander itself is an ancient city dating from the 11th or 12th centuries. It has a magnificent cathedral. It's one of the things to see there. We will be aware of Santander if we were with Abbey National because Banco Santander took over our formerly loved building society, Abbey National. Now, Santander is a lively, vibrant city which attracts a lot of visitors from over here. You may know that you can get your car on a car ferry from the UK to Santander, so it's easily accessible. And the people there are very friendly, and it's a good destination to visit. Historic, full of modern stuff as well, and it's a place well worth visiting. Like this vlog about Santander, and you fall in love with Santander like I did, because the city's got a lot to offer, and it will be a surprise for anybody that comes there for the first time. It is just magical in the way. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon. Till then, stay safe, stay good, and stay positive. Your boy Vlogger Zupa.